I just put two of Frusciante's biggest modulation effects into one compact enclosure. The Deluxe Modulation Ensemble provides all the functionality of the classic big box Deluxe Electric Mistress and the first ever chorus pedal, the Vintage Boss CE1. Straight out of the box, these effects are connected in series, but they are completely independent circuits with an optional effects loop between them. Powered by a standard 9 volt adapter, the Deluxe Modulation Ensemble uses DC to DC converters to achieve the same voltages and operation as its predecessors. Just like the originals, the Mistress circuit includes the filter matrix mode and the optional direct out, while the chorus circuit provides mono or stereo outputs, a foot switch to toggle between chorus or a faster vibrato mode, and the sought after preamp section with a high-low toggle and peak level LED, just like an original CE1. This preamp is considered a big part of Frusciante's sound, and it has recently been re-released by Boss as part of the Wazacraft BP-1W. According to Boss, the CE1 preamp is a secret weapon that makes your sound richer, fuller, and more satisfying to play, even when the chorus effect is bypassed. Combined with this red peak level LED, this level control allows you to adjust and monitor the level of the input signal. I like to run it in high mode, typically around 10 o'clock. Here's what that sounds like. The left foot switch will engage the chorus or vibrato effect. When the effect is bypassed, this orange LED will remain lit, and when the effect is engaged, it'll blink with the rate of the LFO. In mono, you'll hear the modulated delay signal added to the dry signal. But in stereo, the dry signal and the wet signal will come out of different speakers. The chorus mode modulates the delay time with a slower triangle wave LFO and has a single control labeled intensity. This primarily controls the rate of the chorus. By adjusting this knob, you can get everything from the subtlest movement to a fairly quick wobble. If we hit the middle foot switch, we can toggle between the chorus and vibrato mode. In the vibrato mode, you'll notice a faster sine wave LFO. Unlike some other vibrato effects, this mode retains the dry signal just like a chorus does. In this mode, you can adjust the rate of the LFO as well as the depth or amplitude of the wave. This wider control of the LFO allows for everything from subtle effects with rates within the range of the chorus mode to very fast and intense modulation. The right mode switch allows you to engage the mistress circuit, and this green LED lets you know that the effect is engaged. This LFO ranges from almost imperceptibly slow to very fast like the vibrato effect. I like to use it on a fast setting to emulate the effect of a rotary speaker. With the rate and depth parameters near the minimum settings, you can also get some very subtle chorus-like effects with this. But one thing that makes this effect different from chorus, besides a shorter delay time, is the ability to introduce feedback. By turning up the color control, you can introduce feedback to get a more pronounced and resonant effect. With a lot of feedback, a short delay time, and a very slow rate, you can even get some jet plane sounds out of this. And if we turn up the color, range, and rate, we can get some pretty crazy sounds. I don't know why, but this shit makes me think of some creepy clouds.
Flicking this switch enables the filter matrix mode. This allows you to completely disconnect the LFO from modulating the delay time to give you a static delay that can be manipulated by the range control. Again, you can also introduce feedback by turning up the color control. Think of this like the number of repeats on a delay pedal. With the color maxed out, it's almost like the sound of the guitar is reflecting off itself. Here's what it sounds like if we take a static delay in the filter matrix mode and switch back to engage the LFO and modulate it again. Another cool thing that I like to do is to dial in a tone that I like on the electric mistress and then engage the chorus on the slowest rate possible just to get that stereo separation. You don't really notice the chorus modulation as much with the fast rate of the flanger, but now it's coming out just a little bit differently from each speaker. Shanta used chorus a lot with the Chili Peppers, so let's take a look at how this effect sounds in the context of some of their songs. Vibrato effect, there's only a couple recorded examples that I could think of. Most recently, the intro of Tip of My Tongue. It's also used all throughout Black Summer. But before those new albums came out, I only ever clearly noticed a vibrato effect on the B side, Rivers of Avalon. I don't hear any of the dry signal mixed in though, so it's possible that he only used the output of the wet channel for this. So here's what that sounds like. I brought a mode live on certain songs. A good example of that would be Suck on Kiss. As far as the flanger 
shows. We didn't see that on John's board until the By The Way era. Its use is most apparent on track three of that album, This Is The Place. It also sounds like he used it for the overdub in the bridge of Can't Stop. Just like you, from all shopping and anything, I am a new, right on cue. John can also be heard using the Mistress Live at different times during his second stint in the band, most notably during some improvisational outros of Don't Forget Me. Come again and tell me when you want to go. Anyways, that's it for this demo. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments about how these circuits sound. If you'd like to purchase the Deluxe Modulation Ensemble, head over to my website, jfxpedals.com. There you can also find the individual versions of these effects, as well as the rest of my Freshante-inspired pedals. Thanks for watching.